what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump dj academics for whatever reason had a stream the other day and the stream really was dealing with genie mai and jeezy at certain parts in that stream academics took his time out to basically stop focusing on the topic at hand and then a lot of that like i said a lot of that chagrin or roasting went toward the passport bros for, for what reason i'm not sure but it did and he started talking about how uh, how lame the passport bros were um you know how they were getting deleted in colombia in fact i can show you better than i can tell you now y'all y'all little passport bros who've been running to colombia y'all been getting killed y'all better stop it okay you think all them little guala guala Columbia that was selling that nice cocaina was going to let you come down for 60 bucks for too long. You getting killed down there now. It's over. Okay? Go down to Columbia, try to buy some $60, and you're going to be in a cardboard box coming back. It's over. Okay? So all y'all, I, I used to be watching some of these weirdos. They'd be like, they're walking on the beach and be like, yeah, this is, you know, just get, be, become a passport, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. They're dead. They all got killed. You feel me? Like, they, they start pimping y'all out. Be like, oh, 60, oh, $60, not too much? Now they killed all y'all. over. Okay? It's over. I'm telling you. Chat, I'm serious. They used to go to Columbia. Yo, that was the thing. Yo, just Google. Some of y'all probably like, act what you're talking about. Google passport bros. Now, I like, I understand it in theory. All I'm saying is, at least go down there with some security. <laughs> you want to go purchase cheap or you want to go deal with what you think is submissive women? Go get the submissive women not around the violent drug dealers who will kill you. No type of land in history. This is why I know this, the passport bro. Colombia. I'm going to tell you why I know they were, they were stupid. I'm going to tell you why I knew they were stupid. Welcome back. I, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because in the history of time, when you, when you look when you look at um how you know empires has moved and like you know all these countries or you know regions, no group of men has ever been okay with another group of men coming in to their area to their without them ravishing the land capturing and enslaving the men or killing the majority of the population no group of self-respecting men just let a import of because they claim they got a passport come all their baddest it's never happened in time what does that think was gonna happen so i'm saying you could go yeah there's bad columbia but y'all better go with a gun with an army y'all better be ready to go kill some or, or kill some colombians you know what i mean like yo you think they're about to let you come get this shit for 60 dollars out of here let me uh let me let me let me deal with this bmt black male travel shout out to him aaron ferris responded in kind to this one moment before i before i continue before i continue now he talking about something totally different he's talking about colonization three four five hundred years ago listen we're in a different world we're in a different space right now okay everything is way more safer he's talking about something four five hundred years ago when the world was completely different all right when you, there was no translators where you had to you know you're talking about ships coming from spain to south america you're talking about that that's that's totally different act we're in a different space right now bro you got to update your program okay do some men have an issue with seeing western american men date their women yes and no to a certain degree and a lot of these countries we go to we're not even dating the type of women that they would date anyway all right we're in a new age right Dating has gone global because of apps, because of how cheap it is to fly these different countries. The world is going global now. Dating has basically gone global. And guys are exercising the options. And what the biggest issue is that there is some form of, I want to say, envy to a certain degree. Because what the women kind of generically know is the fact that the men have a better chance at finding genuine love overseas than they do. And that's the issue. That's why some of them have a lot of issues with us going overseas because that's draining the pool of simps from the American database, if you want to say, the matrix. They have less of a selection 
because these are pretty valuable men that can go over to these other countries and stay for long periods of time to have genuine relationships with the women in these foreign countries. And let me say this one more time. Passport bros are worldwide, global. We're much bigger than just Colombia. Also, always remember, fellas, passport bros is an ideology. All right. It's just a mindset. It's not a club. It's no membership. You can't join down with the passport bros app, though. We have a huge community there. But it's just a mindset of an ideology of guys that want more traditional relationships. Now, your form of your definition of a traditional relationship is your definition of a traditional relationship. So let me just say something. Um, I've been living over in Africa two years. I lived in Poland for six years. I wasn't a, necessarily a passport bro. I was in medical school in Poland and I, I run my little dusty business here. But I, I will be honest. Um, academics is... I don't know. He makes certain good points. Like, okay, a lot of guys are going to foreign countries to go mess with somebody else's women. That is something that is, it can be cons you know, uh, considered dangerous. I don't understand why that would even be on his mind. I just don't. Firstly, you know, academics, and not to bring up his personal situations because it's not really important. I'm not gonna talk about him. Uh, academics has problems with his own women, but everywhere in the, in the world that you go, look, you're going to seek the best opportunity, all right? Whether that's in the States, whether that's abroad. A lot of people come to the United States to find a new opportunity, right? Um, if you go to the US Embassy here in Kampala, um, you're gonna see a line of people trying to get a visa to go to the States, trying to get a green card to go to the States. Why? It's a better opportunity. There are some men who want a better opportunity at dating or relationships and I know for academics, you know, who guy who's like, you know, you know, very rich right now and has a lot of money, it's probably inconceivable for him to want to think about doing something like that. And yes, it is dangerous to go to these places. A lot of these guys in Colombia, they do get drugged. Uh, not everybody, but it, it can happen. And it is dangerous when you're going someplace that you just don't know. And if you're looking for, you know, love and all of that, and you're telling other guys to come here, but to be honest, I don't think that, I mean, the, these places are uh, so filled with women. I don't think local guys are so uh, concerned with that, right? Because a lot of the ladies, it, it's only so many black men that can go to Colombia, um, to be honest. To be a passport bro, the first and hardest thing that you must be able to do is support yourself. That's the hardest thing to do. To support yourself in a foreign country is difficult, all right? So uh, there are not that many passport bros. And, and, and be, to be fair to brother BMT, a lot of these guys are spread out, <clears throat> all right? And guys are going in between different places. So some guys will go to Columbia, some guys will go there and go, and, and go where else. The real reason why academics is upset is because he has to pay for everything. But overseas, a guy might be able to be chosen basically because a woman may like him more based off everything and she might not need a whole lot. That could be the case. But again, I just don't see <clears throat> why academics spent so much time on talking about these guys. I just, I don't understand why the six or seven minute rant and I get what he's saying. Like, yo, you guys going over to another community and trying to take somebody else's women is a very dangerous thing. I agree, it is a very dangerous thing, to be honest. To, 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 to basically say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with Brazilian women and that's it. Yeah, that could, that could be dangerous, but to the to the point that a lot of guys just don't care. If, if you come as a, a, a guy or two guys to Nairobi, to Rio de Janeiro, nobody really gives a damn. You know what I'm saying? You meet some some lady and if she likes you, she does. And you know, you can date some chicks and it happens. Okay, and then the guys that are also there that are locals are dating girls that you probably could never get. And, it, and to be honest, there's only so many kind of women that passport bros can get. Let's be honest, okay? I'm gonna talk about this very, very honestly. I live in Uganda. There are only a certain kind of women that I could even meet as an American, as a guy who's in business, you know, I'm, I'm always in, in one, you know, two or three different parts of the city of all time. The majority of the women that's out there, I'm not going to be able to, to even exercise them or even be be with them. You know, it's like 
Not like you're gonna be able to just run through so many, and there's so many other ladies you'll never be able to get. It's just gonna be crazy. And um, again, you know, yeah, there are some situations where passport bros are getting at work. Absolutely, it happens. But I just don't get the reason why he decides to, why he's deciding to do this. I can't say that he's jealous of passport bros. I don't think that academics is everything that that you can want financially. Um, it, could he go to Columbia if you wanted to? Sure. He even talked about Batman Kevo goes to Columbia. I just think that he just thought the guys are lame because, hey, you got to go to another place to get some ladies where he might feel that, well, I'm academics. I don't have to do that. Could be that. Not sure. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. The episode of Celebrity Drunk. Preacher for all you. Use Curtis Bell. We're out. Thanks.